The thing that's so interesting about her little example here is the academic texts tend to use overly complex language. This young lady is studying biology. There's some complex language in biology. You kind of need to know the names of blood vessels and organs and bones and muscles and all of that stuff. And you need to know the, the chemistry that's involved in biology as well as the anatomy. And that has complex language. If you have a hard time with complex language or you just don't like reading about it, maybe biology isn't for you. After all, I don't want to go to a doctor who doesn't know the name of the bones that are hurting in my arm, you know, or who doesn't know what type of medicine to prescribe me because those words are too big. I don't want to learn the complex language. Let me see if I can YouTube it. I don't want that doctor. So if you, if you're somebody who struggles with the reading in that field because it's too complex or the vocabulary is too hard, you might not be cut out for that field. You either, you're either not smart enough or even if you are smart enough, you might just not like it. Because after all, people who want to learn and who enjoy their field actually like the reading part. They like the complex language. They like they like the difficult ideas. If you don't like doing it, that's a sign you might not actually like biology like you think you do. So you might want to switch to something else. Or again, maybe you're not smart enough.